All right, so it's Mr. Palmer here. Got a video on merge sort. So before you go over this video, make sure you've gone over your notes on recursion and you have an idea of uh, what that means, okay? So while I'm waiting for you to go over your notes, I'm gonna daydream about some momos. And here we go, merge sort, okay? So basically, by the end of this video, you should be able to explain how a merge sort works. And then the next video following this, I go over an actual algorithm for merge sorts. So uh, the basic steps of a merge sort basically are for a list of length n, i.e. there are n number of elements in there, you divide it into n sublists where each sublist is of length 1. And then you repeatedly start merging those sublists in order until you only have one sublist left, i.e. that is the new sorted list. All right. So let's see that in action in this uh, sample list, okay, which is six elements in length. So I have my six elements, okay, I'm going to split that into two halves, okay. So I need to somehow find the midpoint and then I'm going to create two more lists out of that. I have a left, lift, left, left list and then I have a right list. Now, similarly, my left list, I need to find a midpoint and I need to create two lists out of that my right list that I've just created is of length one. So obviously that sub list is now sorted. My left list has two items in it. So once again, I find the midpoint, I divide that in half, and I have two sub lists of length n, uh, sorry, of length one. So each of those individual sub lists are now sorted. I can then start to recombine my lists in the correct order. So when I look at them, I can see that the item in the left list is larger than the item in the right list. Therefore, I'm going to copy the right item first into my new list, and then I'm going to copy my left item. Similarly, I can now take my new sub list of length two and compare that to my uh, um, my uh, previous sub list of length one, which I had sorted list of length one, which contains seven. Now, when I look at that, I can see that the item in the left um, list the first item in the left list is smaller than the first item in the right list therefore I'm going to copy that first left list item over then I can see that the next item in my left list i.e. the 13 is larger than the first item in the right list therefore I will copy the right list item over there's now nothing else left in the right list so I need to copy anything else remaining in the left list into my new sub list so you can see I now have another sub list which is sorted in order I can obviously repeat that for the right hand side. Okay, once again, finding the midpoint, splitting into two lists. So I've got a nine and a 12 in one list, and I've got a one which is in my uh, right hand sub list. That obviously is in an order because there's only one item in the list. Similarly, with that list sub list of nine and 12, I split it, etc., etc., etc. And then the same thing happens now with my two lists at the bottom. Okay, I've got, I can look at my left list left list zero is larger than right list zero. So I'm gonna copy right list zero into my new list. And then I'm gonna increment my right list counter by one. So I'm now gonna compare two to nine. Two is smaller, so I'm gonna copy the two. I'm gonna increment my left list counter. And I can see seven is smaller than nine. So I copy the seven, then 13 is larger than nine. So I copy the nine, 13 is larger than 12. So I copy the 12, nothing else left in the right list. So I'm going to copy everything else over from the left list. Okay, that's pretty much what's going on. Split the list right down until you end up with individual sub list of items of one, length of one, and then recombine them all in order. Okay, so the important point here basically is you can see we're using a divide and conquer technique. We have a big problem which is too complex to handle all in one go. But if we keep splitting it down into smaller problems, then we can solve that single problem directly. Okay. Um, because it's quite easy for us to, to handle that individual small problem. Okay, this is making use of multi-branch recursion, all right? So you may have been doing some coding for your A-level, uh, you've been using recursion um, for your, um, well, you've probably just been using recursion, tail recursion, if you remember you've got a base case. Um, this is using recursion because it is a self-repeating or a self-similar problem, all right? Because we're splitting the list um, splitting the list, splitting the list until it's smaller and then going back up and copying them back up in the correct order. Okay, so remember recursion can be used for self-similar problems. All right, so you should be able to explain how a merge sort works. All right, we're using a recursive divide and conquer approach. 
where the list of n items is being divided into n number of sublists, um, then each individual sublist containing one item is obviously in order by itself. So then we can now start recombining them back up in order okay, until we have that one sorted sublist. Um, that's it. The next video is going to go through an algorithm um, step by step um, for this uh, merge sort. I need to find out how to turn this new bit of software off now. Uh, I believe that's